My name is Ujo Isaac. The next topic for today is uh, how to record cash sales in Sage 50. I mean, how to post cash sales in Sage 50. If you are a trading or a distribution company and there is a, a customer before you who wants to pay with cash, that is, he doesn't want to pay with check or any other means of transfer, he wants to pay with cash. How do you record it here in stage 15? In the local palace, it is called cash and carry. So how do you record it in stage 15? This is what we want to look at now. We have opened stage 15. This is stage 15. This is the dashboard. Dashboard of stage 15. So if we want to have uh, stage 15 and also post the cash sales, this is what we do. Let's go to the case study. Let's follow this step. This is cash sales. Look at it. Posting of cash sales is the topic. The date. On the 18th of January 2021, Cheetahs Nigeria Limited bought the following items with cash with cash, with invoice number 0006, ROCT number 0010. That is the receipt number now. These are the quantity. Quantity, these are the quantity. The selling price, then the total price. So you need to know how to post them very well. This is selling price. These are the items. These are the items. It's a desktop, HP desktop, and then laptop. So let's go to C50. I've opened C50 again. We go to task. From task, on the drop down menu there, you will click on C slash Inversing slash, slash, slash inversing. This is the window we will use to fill in all the items that we are sold to him. Okay, so we click on the mirror here. From the mirror, the drop down, you look for the name. So, what is the name? Let me check the case study. Cheetahs. We look for Cheetahs. Cheetahs Nigeria Limited. Let's check if Cheetahs is already set up here. Yeah, it's already set up. It's number two. This is Cheetahs. Cheetahs Nigeria Limited is number two here. You click on Cheetahs. But eventually, Cheetahs have not been set up. You need to set it up so that you will use the name to post. So if you want to set, set up the customer name from this sales window, what you do, you click on the mirror here, and from the drop down below, you will see OK button, console button, find button, new button. This is the new button you will use. You click on new button, it will take you to the maintain menu, which is this. You take you to the maintain menu, and you fill in the necessary information, the customer ID, the name, and the addresses. That is how to set up a new customer from the sales invoicing window. So let's go, go ahead. Let's proceed. The name is already a T-Test and a meter. The address, this is the address. Then let us look at the date of the transaction. We we'll go back to the case study. Date of transaction is 18. 18th of January. Okay, 18 of January. So we are not going to use January now. We are using 18 of May. You click on the calendar here, the date. You select 18. 
the due date automatically will be adjusted to 30 days. You can see it's 30 days. Look at it, 17, 17 January. So what it means here is that if this due date, for instance, if this transaction, for instance, is a credit invoice or a credit sale, the due date will be now be the date the customer will pay. You can also adjust it to be 13 days, 14 days, as the case may be. So we enter the invoice number. Invoice number given here is uh, 006. So 006 may have been taken. I will use 009. Now 009. Okay. So after that, the next thing is for me to go to quantity um, column. Quantity column. And begin to enter the quantity and the items. So the first item there is what? Acer desktop 5. Acer desktop 5 quantity. 5. So I will enter 5 here under the quantity. I press my tab. Then look for Acer desktop here, which is uh, this Acer desktop 5. The unit price will automatically display because you already set it up. And also the amount. The amount, the roll amount will display 150. The next one is. Um, HP desktop 7. HP desktop 7. Let's enter HP desktop 7 quantity. Then HP desktop. If you click on the arrow here, you will see HP desktop here. 7. 7 multiplied by the unit price which you are set up 37,000. You get 259,000. Okay, the next one is you press your tab key. Let's bring out the third rule. Press the tab key to give ta third rule. This is the third rule where I will enter the quantity. So the case study, the case study reveals that the next one is uh, the laptop. The laptop, okay, six. The laptop, six. I will enter six quantity. The laptop. Look for the laptop here. The laptop is uh, here. So. I will select it. After I've done so, I will look at the total. So the total amount here, look at it, invoice total is 494,000. 494,000. That is total amount here. Which means this is the cash you are going to collect from this particular customer. Okay, so let's collect the money from this particular customer. What we have done is recording all the items in the, on the invoice plane. This is the invoice now. We have recorded all the items that the customer is buying from us on the invoice plane. So what is remaining now is the record or the evidence of the cash that he paid. So what do we do? You look at this very blue color here, which is saying amount paid at sales. This very amount paid at sales is where we will receive the cash. When you click here, it will display the receipt aspect of it. I click on it now, amount paid at sales. You can see it display receipt money, which is the receipt aspect of it. The receipt aspect of this particular transaction is what we are seeing here. So we will complete the filling of the remaining buses. The reference number ROCT, let's go back, go to the case study, which is uh, ROCT number 00010. Okay, so that may have been taken care of. So we use um, ROCT. ROCT, where is receipt number 0020? For instance, okay, so the date, you can see that auto, date was automatically picked from the invoice. That has been picked, don't need for you to bother to change that. So the receipt amount, the receipt amount must be the total amount here, the total net due. So if we post this very one, the invoice amount, the next due, we 
disappear. It becomes zero. So let's do it. So we enter the amount here. 949 zero, zero, zero. Press your tab key. So this is amount received. Then under the amount method pay, uh, or payment, you select cash. This is where you select cash. Okay, because it's a cash transaction, what you are going to do under the cash account, the cash account is the account you are using to receive the money. The ledger you are you set up to receive the money. These are the ledgers that you already set up as an accountant to record every transaction that happened in your organization. This is where you will post the transaction to. So we have two cash ledgers here. So which one are we going to use? We have petty cash ledger. We have cash on hand ledger. So in this case, what which do you use? You will use the cash on hand ledger or the main cash, otherwise known as the main cash. So some accountants can call it main cash, cash on hand, cash at hand. But the most important thing is that this is the ledger that you have set up to warehouse all cash received in the office. All cash received in the office. By the time you do that, it will debit this account. This figure will debit this account that you are receiving. So you can see I've selected it. I've selected cash on hand. This is it. Then when I have done that, the next thing for me to do here is go to OK button. I will click on OK button. This one. I'll click on OK button. If I click on OK button, the energy will disappear. Look at it. The energy is already disappeared. Look at it. Zero. It becomes zero. So instead of the energy to be here, zero, it now becomes amount paid as says. This is how to record cash says. So after you have done this, the next thing is for you to save or print. If you want to print, you click on print button. If you want to preview it, you click on the small drop down beside the print button and click on print preview. You can also email it. This is your email button. Then let's preview it. As usual, let's click on print preview. So we have uh, selected the form. It's already here. That is uh, this form number. That is uh, invoice number 009 is here. Okay. So this is the invoice. Uh, let's magnify it so that it will come out very bold and you will see it very well. Look at the AA and Sons. This is the name of your company. Then this is your invoice. And the invoice number is here and the date. Then B2 address, that is to say the customer. Then ship to, that is the customer's address, where the goods is supposed to be shipped, assuming you are going to ship it. That is how Sage 50 does it. Okay, so under the quantity, look at it. You have ASA desktop 5, HP desktop 7, then we have Dell laptop 6. So, and the description here. These are the description. description and the total here. So, let's go to the bottom and to check the, 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 the final arrangement there. Okay, look at it. Subtotal, 9, Four nine thousand. No sisters. That is why it is zero. Then how much was applied? Uh, payment applied. You see, nine four nine cash was applied. So that what you see there. The balance here is a zero. Balance here is zero. So the credit memo applied. The receipt number is zero zero two zero. So when you are posted it like this, it means that you are posted. A cash says so if you see a document like this that says check slash credit memo number here it means it's a cash sale and you also see something like this that says payment slash credit applied 949 know that this is a cash sales and the balance is zero zero so in addition to what i have said so far cash sales is done for Transaction that took place within that day, at that moment, I mean point of sale, not 
that you will post this transaction on invoice plane or invoice document like yesterday and today this person is coming to pay the customer is coming to pay today you will now call up the invoice and enter amount paid as says here no it is not allowed it's forbidden in accounting and also in uh, stage 15. you don't do that that system is done by going to the receipt and receive it against the invoice why am i saying this because with my experience in many companies this is what they do i mean some accountant and cashier bookkeepers they will post a transaction a sales transaction like two days week two weeks ago and a customer is paying now or today they will open go to reports and open the invoice to the uh, desktop and come to the amount paid as sales and use this receipt uh, window to receive the money it is because they are inexperienced in stage 50 it is not allowed and it's not done like that this is how to record a cash sales in stage 50. finally after you have saved this amount paid as sales look at it this amount paid as sales you know i told you to save it by clicking ok then this very particular net you will be zero so to crown it all and to finalize this posting you must save this invoice part of it you click on save if you would close without saving it this document is not saved this document is not saved please save it by clicking here finally because every document in c50 finally closes by saving it you click on save so this is how to record cash sales in sage 50. i enjoy you to subscribe to our videos so that you will be getting in videos from us anytime we load on the media or social media don't forget subscribe to this video every any time we load on the social media you will receive notification so that you begin to enjoy our updates thank you